Oh, I was just trying to think of the perfect post after that workout and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to tell you what I thought of it. <laughs> um, I just got done with speed 45 and um, okay, full disclosure and confession, Monday and Wednesday totally dogged it on speed 45. I just, I was tired. Went hard all last weekend, um, didn't eat right, didn't sleep good, and I just didn't have it in me to go hard in my in my workouts, especially something as intense as that. Um, so I just, I had a couple of realizations and I just wanted to share them with you. So first of all, if you make your fitness program a, a priority and you train yourself like an athlete, it takes a lot of dedication and um, making it a priority, but why would you want to do that? Why would you want to um, discipline yourself enough that you are fueling your body with the right foods so that you can get through these workouts? And why would you want to make sure you go to bed and get enough sleep and that you're not... Um, my deal was I drank some beers and I had caffeine and those things all, I didn't do them all at the same time, but you know, like later in the afternoon and the evening made it so I didn't sleep good. Okay. If I didn't sleep good, I'm tired. So one of two things is going to happen. I'm either going to push through my workout and I'm going to get hit. I'm going to get hurt or I'm going to get sick um, or I'm going to quit. Right? So it just it just all comes together in in what your focus is and if you're dialed into this fitness program and you're committed to it just because you're committed to it then all of a sudden all you have to get your all your other crap in order you know you got to schedule some stuff in you got to go shopping for the right foods you got to prioritize and plan but if you do that who be who you become in the process is so worth it you know, all of a sudden you've you've pushed yourself outside your comfort zone. So yes, you're losing weight and you're feeling great, but all the other things that you 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 mentally were limiting yourself on, all of a sudden that they don't exist. Um, it, it just makes you. I guess that's what ugh, I'm so rambly. <laughs> um, so today for this workout, I just. I didn't think about it. I didn't think of whether it was going to be hard or easy. I just listened to him describe each and every move and I just went for it where I was in the moment. And after I got through the first two rounds, I, um, I had pushed myself farther than I have in a long time. And I didn't even realize it. I just all of a sudden stopped. I'm like, I cannot breathe. I think I'm going to throw up. It, it was, uh, you know, we don't ever want to go there. We don't, it's, you know, it's a protection mechanism. We never want to let ourselves get that out of control. Um, but when you do, like I did accidentally, I think I'm just like, I can do, I can do, and if I can do this, I can do anything. And if you can plant that type of the sky's the limit in your own head, then you can do it. We're just so full of potential. We don't even know, but we let our own minds get in our way by saying, you know, it's too hard. I can't do it. You're, you're right. If you're telling yourself you can't do it, it's hard. I don't think it'll work. It'll not, you know, blah, blah, blah. You are freaking right. It won't. But if you turn loose of it and you just stop listening to yourself and like, like today, I listen to Chris. I didn't think anything. I just did what he said. And then all of a sudden I'm, I went farther than I ever had before. And wow. <laughs> so anyway, I just wanted to, and I just wanted to share that with you. So, um, go for it. I'm going to do, uh, you know, I'm coming to the end of my first round of the shift shop and I'm going to do another round. I'm going to do round two. So next week I'm going to start with 35 and then go 45, 50. Um, I think that I'm looking at my calendar over here. I think that leads me up to, yeah, that leads me up to kind of our, our fair. Um, that last week will be a little, um, I don't know how strong I'll finish just because I know what those last three days of that week will be like, but definitely committing a hundred percent to, to another two and a half weeks, um, of round two. And then I'm moving on to body beast, baby. I love to lift weights. Yes. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 so anyway, my, like my motive, like I always, I love to do that. Right. I love to look at the calendar and go, um, you know, what's coming up in my future. 
I can always see three weeks in advance. I might not know what's happening six months, 90 days, six months, 90 days, six months, a year from now, but three weeks I can predict pretty good. And that's how I plan my fitness out. Um, it's not to say I won't change my mind and that's okay too. Cause you gotta be in it and you gotta love what you're doing. But I, um, you know, I kind of have this, my own little motivation. It's our, it's our fair, you know, you, know, you, you see a lot of people you haven't seen in a long time and you want to go out and you want to look cute and you want to feel good and you want to be happy and full of energy. And, um, so that's just something that I want to do and I think I will. So, uh, just keep up the great work and just, just, um, just go for it. Okay. Bye-bye.